Hi everyone, welcome back to another channel of Worcester. Dan Unit today. Got my new t shirts on. Hope everyone's well. Two things I want to get done today. <clears throat> One, I want to start getting all this side stripped, get all this uh, rotten, rotten reinforcement off. Same with the side, get them cut like I did with the other side. Cut them, get this crap off, so I can start um, getting on repairing the top. As soon as that's stripped, the next plan will be to start actually bracing the car up. <clears throat> I, know that, I know this isn't really ideal, but it's still quite thick and because it's kind of a box section, it should still give it quite some strength, especially once you once you actually cross brace it. <clears throat> Gotta cut it down. I'm gonna put one one across both sides. Same in there, one straight across. Then I wanna put one that way and one that way. Just to stop the car twisting as I start cutting all the floors out. I need to uh get my arse in gear and start um getting some work done on this. So I'm gonna stop it there, set it up on the tripod, might gonna whip this bonnet off and then uh start drilling the spot rods out for that. I have already made a start. Let's see. Try a minute. Right, while we're wheeling that off, is that you? You see it, we revealed the spot welds. So we've got a couple here. This is gonna be for the uh, reinforcement that goes down the inner wing. Same here. These here are the center player. Another one here on top. And I think that'll probably be about most of them because I'm gonna cut through here, get rid of all that really bad corrosion. And same here. Cut just below that hole. Thank you. 
be replacing it with. As you can see, the holes have been drilled, but that ain't no issue. It's uh, nice and solid. I've actually just thought, once you put this in, it ain't gonna be the same as the other side where I just line the spot welds back up. Oh my God, this camera keeps going down. It's not gonna be the same as that side where I could line the spot welds up. So this, in theory, could be anywhere like so. So, before I go any further, I'm gonna just cut all this scrap off so it's flat. I'm gonna make a jig to um, connect to somewhere and it'll, it'll have them three holes so it'll, it'll be in the right place. So, yeah, I'm gonna be back in a minute once I sort something out. Right, hi everyone, welcome back to Rooster. What we've done now, we'll just take you around and show you. Is as, as I explained before, the actual suspension, it doesn't actually sit perfectly flat. Whereas the other side when I stripped it, I could line the spot welds back up. This side I can't because I'm actually changing the panel. So what I've had to do, as you can see here, just a bit of angle iron, drill the hole, so, puts the panel in the right place. So it's also nice and flat onto the actual panel. And then literally just tacked it to the inner wing. I'm not pushed the inner wing up to it. I've literally, as the inner wing is resting, I've then just spot welded it to there. So therefore, when I take that out and put the new piece in, it will sit bang in the right place. As you can see, I didn't need to do anything with these two holes because it does this just goes up against the inner wing. So now I can get on with actually carrying on and taking that piece out. Just unscrew this uh, 13. I know these holes are elongated, but I've actually drilled a perfect bang on hole. So it won't even go in the elongated hole. It'll only go just there. So it, when it goes back on, it can't be in the wrong place. And then there we go. Let's get it off. What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Just trying to go on this. Spot world. Get all the spot worlds out, peel it back. Get to that and leave. Jamie don't normally let me help, but I'm helping today. So we'll leave that, that and that. We'll plug world them all. Oh yeah. Plug world them all. And that's going on that side of it. It is, yeah. These fucking things, these are wicked, these are. I know a lot of people say they're rubbish because they go too fast. You just watch your oats slip and I it know, goes that's, into your leg. That's what I mean, it keeps jumping off. But once you get. Once you, look, look, you see the situation. Once it eats in, look. Is it, look, this is the only thing that's coming. Look, it's still looking up. Well, oh, oh. we can get that back down that way. Get that peeled off in a minute. Look, then they just pop off it a lot. Yeah. Mmm. We'll clean that off and then put it on there. Plug all them holes up. Yeah. And the reason opting to plug all these holes is just for this fact that I don't really want to be plug welding it from underneath. And you then <laughs> have all the ass <laughs> grinding it off as well. So what were you doing with that? You, you put me on YouTube? Yeah. Did they all fucking well to you, man? Do you think you like your new hamster? I ain't I don't even know what his name is. Rhino. Is Rhino being good? <laughs> Cost £10. <laughs> ain't bad for an hamster, is it? No. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's the advice. 
I know, yeah, I need a workbench, that's what I need. But there's no room in here as it is. That'll do then, Joe. Yeah? I reckon I'm going to get a new bottle of glass soon. Yeah, it does. It's like it's not real copper, isn't it? Probably the grade. I know. Bust. <laughs> Went down my neck. Try not to ban the car, it might knock it off.
I noticed as well, you know, you weld weld with a copper behind. Yeah. You don't off feel the fill the nozzle up. Like it, it spits a lot. Yeah. 